There. Plenty of meat for everybody. I better stop shaking. I'll be using for the roast. I'll be putting some carrots in there, a yellow onion, red onion, and garlic, beef broth, browning and a seasoning sauce. I'll be putting this on the meat ahead of time. And then uh, buttermilk ranch dressing will be going on the broccoli. I won't be cooking that, that'll just be a side dish and then sea salt and ground peppercorn. Okay, I, I put some of this uh, browning and seasoning sauce on here. You can see it's turned it pretty dark already. But I'm gonna put this in the rotisserie for about a half hour and just get, get a crust going here on the outside uh, before I put it in the crock pot. two cloves of garlic. No sense in uh, overpowering it. Okay, the red onions I'm going to use to line the bottom with. some of these yellow onions in there too. Lots of onions. Ok, 
Okay, uh, the roast is out of the rotisserie, so it's time to start putting this thing together. Start getting these onions on the bottom here. Now for the roast. We're just going to throw some of these yellow onions in there. Then the garlic. Then I'm going to put some potatoes in there too. Okay, now for the carrots. And then I'm going to sneak in a little bit of rosemary and thyme. Okay, now for the broth. Give that about six hours. I'll give it a taste test. We'll see you then. All right. Looks like it's about done. I think it's been in there about seven hours. I uh, put some salt and pepper in there earlier, and uh, kept tasting it, and it's, it's tastes about right. So I'm gonna take it out. That's real easy. Some carrots and potatoes. The onions are always go good with the roast. Broccoli with uh, ranch dressing on it. All right, there you go. Buffalo roast, buffalo chuck roast, potatoes, carrots, onions, and broccoli. Thanks for watching.